Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I was asked the other day about uh, what flowers you can do using a rose petal uh, vena as uh, this particular lady didn't have, only had rose petal, uh, sorry, rose petal cutters. There are a lot of different flowers that you can do with uh, rose cutters. Some of the flowers that I'm going to show you are, have used different cutters but you can use rose petal cutters to do all those particular flowers so it's just a matter of improvising on what you can do you can also make templates for making your petals as well um, that's something that I'm going to come on to in a, a separate video uh, so I'll take you down to my board now and I'll show you what flowers uh, you can use to do a rose cutter they're just some of the flowers you can use Right, as you can see, I've got a lot of flowers down here that uh, um, that I've brought out to show you, things that I've done in the past. What I'll do is I'll put the links uh, in below to uh, take you to these particular uh, videos and just improvise by using the rose petal cutter instead of the uh, cutters that I'm going to show you. So one of the first ones that I'm going to show you here is the anemone. So we'll come on to this one first. I have used an enemy cutter for this, but it's just just as good using a, a, a rose petal cutter if you haven't got an, an enemy cutter. It's just that an enemy cutter's a slightly narrower than a rose petal cutter. So that's one of the flowers. Then of course you've got your roses. This is one I did a short while ago called Warm Wishes um, in a peachy colour. Another rose that I've done that you can use the uh, plain rose petal cutters for. I have used different cutters for these, but there are lots of new ones coming out. Um, this is another rose which has got the multi centre. Uh, some people call them old fashioned roses um, because they were around a long time before. Well, not before the uh, original roses, but. A lot of them have been bred and bred and bred to get different varieties. Now, another flower that I've used, that I've done here, is um, a double N enemy. I can't remember what this one's called, but I'll find the link and I'll put that in underneath as well. So you could use your rose petal cutters for that. Another cutter that you could substitute the original cutters for is a ranunculus. Now, this one's got a bit more of a flat top, but you can take a little bit off of the top to make it flatter um, just by improvising with the cutters that you've got but equally as well you can just use the rose cutter instead of the ranunculus cutter another flower that's very popular this is in this arrangement here I'm just going to tip this up to the side here is um, your helibars these can also be used use a rose petal cutter. I have used rose petal cutters for a lot of these flowers in the past when I haven't had the uh, the original cutter to do it. And with, as with a lot of them, the most one of the most useful tools that I have in my arsenal is this tool here, which is from Gem, uh, and it is a veining tool. You can I've used the veiner for the um, for this particular flower but for a lot of these flowers that I've just shown you here you can use this tool to put your veining into your petals just to make them look that bit more realistic so as I say it's just a matter of using your imagination so if you if you're going to do a particular flower get down to your garden center or go to a florist and have a look at the uh, have a look at the flowers that they've got there. I'm just going to move these around so see if I can get them so you can see all of them. If I can, just have to bend that wire up a bit. There we are. I thought it's down there, so I'll just bring you a bit further down there so you can see them all. Um, if you have a look at whatever flower it is and have a look at the shape of the petals, you'll find that quite a lot of flowers have got the same shape as uh, a rose petal and if it, ha if it hasn't then you can adapt it by using your cutting wheel 
another useful tool to have in your arsenal is this one you've got two wheels one on either end this is another pme tool don't be buy the cheap ones of these because with a lot of the cheap ones the ends come off that won't come off on PME. I've had these donkey's years and they're still in one piece. <clears throat> so I hope that's helping you a bit. So what I'll do is I'll have a look through all of my videos and I'll put the links down below to uh, the videos that, of the flowers that you can use a rose petal cutter for. So if you want to have a, a scout through those and have a look and then... Uh, I hope that's helped you with uh, making making use of your rose petal cutters. Also as well, there's the five petal cutter um, that you can use as well. Uh, that's another thing I'll come on to. When I do the templates, I'll come on to that as well and show you how to do individual petals on that one. So take care. See you soon. Stay safe.